What's going on guys? Hope everyone out there is doing well and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Dan and welcome to Low Country Fishing. So man, you guys, this week was an absolute blast fishing. It was warm all week. Uh, I got to fish honestly two out of the three days off that I had in a row. And uh, I had a good time out there. Now I did a couple different styles of fishing with day one versus day two. Uh, and I did that kind of just to mix it up for say. So day one, I went out and I fished Savannah on foot. Now I hit as many spots as I possibly could, just walking around with a backpack full of tackle, a GoPro on my chest, and a rod and reel in my hand. And uh, I just wanted to try to target fish, right? I get a lot of questions constantly from people writing me and commenting on the videos as well as emailing me. You guys are coming in from out of town, you're interested where to go and catch fish. And what I wanted to do uh, in this portion of the video was just go out there and see how many fish I can catch. Now I have access to big boats and small boats, uh, as many boats honestly as I, as I would need to get out here and catch fish in any water system around here. But doing it on foot is something that I was really interested in doing and kind of just challenging myself as well. And what I did you guys, I basically just took to the back creeks, I found some spots that made sense and I got out there and I caught some fish. Now that's day one. Day two was a little bit different. Day two, I went out on a uh, shallow water flats boat, back out on the Georgia Sea Fox 16 foot flats boat. And man, all him and I wanted to do was just go to try some new areas. We had a very specific creek system that we wanted to get into uh, and catch fish based on uh, trends of the type of area that these fish could possibly be in. And we pushed back in that creek. We found some really nice big redfish. And then honestly, the rest of the day, we just kind of bounced around and explored new water. I threw the drone up just to grab some fun nature videos and whatnot, uh, just to kind of capture the moment of what we were uh, experiencing during the day. And that's kind of what today's video is gonna be. It's gonna honestly be a highlight of the past two days of fishing. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut to that footage. As always, thank you guys so much for the support with Low Country Fishing. Now let's head out to that first spot. Just dropped the tackle bag and uh, the spot back here, honestly, it looks pretty good. I was checking this out on satellite map. And uh, what we have back here is uh, back of a creek system. We have a nice little deep bend here. The water is fairly clear. Uh, a little bit of an incoming tide right now. The tide really hasn't picked up too much. And uh, my mind is honestly going to some sort of fish being out here in the middle. Maybe some trout sitting out here in this little deeper hole. Maybe some redfish. There could be some sheep's head down here. Now I don't have anything to honestly target sheep's head effectively. Uh, but I do have some plastics and I know the trout and I do know the redfish are definitely going to be interested in these plastics. Something keeps waking over there on that far bank. Now I got a guard down here that keeps blowing up bait. But something's waking. I was watching it. A couple little wakes right over there. This is the beauty of fishing on shore, man. You notice everything that's going on because you're not really hurried to cover your next spot, right? This is pretty much all I get to fish. So I am eagle eyes looking for reds pushing in the shallows. And I don't know if I have a redfish pushing over there. I don't know if I can honestly make that cast, but something is in that little pocket right there. We'll see if I can get this eight pound braid all the way across this river right here. Nope, not gonna be able to make it. Let's try it one more time. Nope, not gonna be able to make the cast. Dang. <laughs> Maybe if I had a longer rod, a seven foot six rod, but I'm only throwing three sixteenths of an ounce on this uh, eye strike. I don't want to really go too much heavier because it really gets an erratic darting motion, especially with this current being as uh, slow coming back in as it is. I don't want to really use something heavy that's gonna present kind of ugly, but man, there's a lot of guard here. There's one right out there in the middle. <laughs> Feels like like maybe a small trout. This is, uh, this is gonna be interesting here. How do I land? <laughs> this little guy it is a trout right in the middle let's see if i can get her up without breaking my little rod all right first fish of the day she ain't a whopper but 
There is signs of life. Easy. Spot number two. <laughs> I actually stopped off at two other places I wanted to fish before here and there were already people fishing it so apparently some other people out there have an idea of what works or at least where to go. So I just took to Google Maps. This was uh, honestly one of my next out here on a hit list and we'll see what happens. It looks pretty good. The water's actually still pretty clear. Got him. Trout or flounder? Hey, yeah, a little trout. <laughs> Buddy, you're trying to set the record for smallest fish in town, aren't you? <laughs> Small fish or not, they here. Easy, easy, easy. I'll let you go. All right, that's a little smaller than what I caught before. He's got a nice little cut on the side there. And he was back in that eddy, pushed up. Oh, 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 dude, don't, no, don't. There he goes. Oh, what's he doing? <laughs> He's taking a long way. Let me see if he swims out. Oh, there he goes. He's out on the rock, see him? Go on, buddy. He's like, man, what did you just do? My head hurts. There he goes, he's swimming away, nice and slow. Got him already. Yeah. Little rat. It's a little guy. Hi, little guy. Aren't you cute? It's like a redfish, but only smaller. <laughs> Look at that. He's got, he's got the tongue eating lices on him already. I don't get this guy off. Hold on. All right. First fish of the day, that was honestly my second cast. Beautiful girl. Look how silver these fish are out here. Yeah. Clean water, huh? Isn't that cool? It does, it almost looks like a, uh, kind of like a whiting, how they come up real clean like that. All right. We got one. Keep going. Just a tiny little drain right here. So funny how fish sit in front of drains. I bet he's I bet he's 13 and a half. And they and they they dumped him because they were worried about us. 14 on the button, that's why they dumped him. Probably just a little bit too short. <laughs> well, he's legal, so we can technically use him for bait. <laughs> Found a legal trout floating. 
thinking maybe the boat that's in the same little creek with us a little bit further up might have uh, ditched them when they saw us coming. Probably had a fish that was right on the edge of being legal and not, and they played it safe and just threw it back. But that fish is right at 14, so what we're gonna do is cut him up. We're gonna use this guy for uh, cut bait on the bottom. We'll soak a rig. We're gonna start hitting some of these little deeper bends a little further up the creek where these redfish might be sitting in the bottom. And uh, this cut bait here will actually work pretty good to get them. Yeah, he's not doing so good. His eyes are all glassed up. Where was he caught? Yep, he was hooked. You can see the hook hook point or the hook mark damage in his mouth right back here. If they're not sitting in this pocket right here, man, I don't know what else to do in this creek. This is the end here. There's a lot of little bait, man. Yeah. And they're just flood flooding down. There's thousands of them. Yeah. There's a bite. Oh no, that was a bite. He took the rod out of my hand. <laughs> All right. Got him. Here's a redfish. Easy. Easy. Oof. Oof. She's got me in the in the bushes over here. All right. Come on now. Oh, she's coming at me quick now. Come on up. What size are you? Nice. Nice size. Top of the slot. I got an eight pound braid on here, so I need to be very careful. Brought the big net. You got, did you get you a big one finally? Yeah. That's the goldfish net. Yeah. <laughs> this is the baby boat net. <laughs> got her. Yes, dude. That is top of the slot. Heck yeah. All right. Let's set this down right here. I'll show you guys that rod when I'm done here in a second. Oh yeah. We'll just keep her in there. Let me get her on the hook. You okay? Sit on the deck? Yeah. I'll set her up here. I'll hang her up here. Alright. That's a nice red fish here. She dirty the camera up. No, it's clean. Got it. There we go. Got her own old tater salad. Okay, we'll get over here where you got some good light. <laughs> That's just, I knew that was gonna happen. That was probably a 23 or 24 inch redfish on light tackle, which is awesome. So let me rinse my hands real quick. Let me show you this rod I was just talking about. All right, so here's what I got. So I just picked this up. This is my St. Croix uh, Avid Inshore. This is a seven foot medium light. It's actually, uh, a medium light fast action tip now the thing i like about this rod if you take a look at this blank look at the parabolic flex on that blank that is what you guys want if you're wanting to really enjoy fighting smaller class style fish now this was originally going to just be my trout rod to be honest that way when i hammer a nice hook set on a trout it doesn't rip the face out of a trout like you would on a rod that's a little bit more stout that parabolic flex gives you a little bit of give doesn't punch such a big hole in that fish's mouth and uh, just allows you to honestly have fun with smaller fish. And that's kind of with the mindset with this rod. But I wanted to bring it out here into uh, big redfish country today and use it just to see if I could honestly see how it would handle a little bit bigger quality uh, redfish. Now, you guys are wondering where I get this rod. A lot of people are asking in my Facebook group, uh, where can we get St. Croix rods these days? Uh, River Supply in Savannah. Mike's got a whole bunch of these things in stock. He's got the Avids and he's got the other lines that are just a little bit below the Avids. So if you don't quite have the price point or you're not at the price point for the more expensive rods like these, you don't have to, you guys. Get whatever you guys can possibly afford. But uh, 
he's definitely got them in stock there. So we're gonna get re-rigged up here. We're actually at the very end of this creek system. Can't go any further. Uh, maybe we'll pull another redfish out of here, but let's keep trying. Cold Miller line, I like it like that. There it is. That's a little guy. <laughs> How'd he slide by? Probably. We're probably sitting on top of them. We got the orchards right dead underneath us. All right. Number three of the day, this guy won't keep. Hmm, he had a little odd scarring right there. Pretty blue tail on him. Ow. My redfish holding skills are not good today. <laughs> 